Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? We're going to take a look at today is called the the Nebula Clouds Synthesizer, and I ran into this guy um, as usual here lately sometimes on Instagram, and I found uh, this guy just demoing you know this instrument that he was working on. I was like, whoa, could I please? Uh, get a copy of, no, I didn't even say it like that. I just said, I'll follow you. I put the initiative on myself and was like, I'll follow you and see when this thing comes out because I would love to capture this for, um, a couple of, uh, demos or songs that I'm working on. So, um, yeah, it's an amazing sounding, uh, synth and, uh, there's a lot of things going on in here. It even comes with a manual. So it even says read the manual for better understanding. It's pretty awesome. There's a demo of it here. And so if you just search for Nebula cloud synthesizer in the reactor user community, or I'll put the link, uh, to it here in the description so that you can go download this, go donate to uh, the PayPal link here. And in general, uh, just take a look at this uh, awesome-ass synth. It's like a spirograph reverb control. I like the cave setting. Let's get back to that. Yeah, yeah, and then this on this side is uh, it looks like the mix. I'm trying to figure out where. Be cool to MIDI learn that. Let's see if I can figure out. Um. Nope. But at any rate, I can I can try to spend time figuring that out. Um, what I would also recommend is that you uh, take a look at the um, the manual because that's going to also explain a lot uh, with how this thing is going to work. So um, we can come right to the navigation here. And check out the user manual. So generators, uh, nebula sounds are generated in two different generators. Generator 1 is a different type of source. It can be step ramp, oscillator, noise generator. Generator 2 is an impulse oscillator with a hard sync and frequency modulation from generator 1. When generators are not controlled by MIDI input, they run in low frequency range. So it acts like an LFO if it's not you know, doing anything if it doesn't have an input, I guess. Uh, NB is not the noise generator. Controls are shown when you click 
or pass over with your mouse device. Oscillator morph. I see. Pretty cool. Um, and pulses. So how, that's how you can how, to, how do you change it? There we go. Change it from noise to pulses. The uh, mouse area module detects and inputs mouse actions that take place in the panel. Mouse actions include button clicks, mouse drags, changes in position. Typically, the mouse area module is used in invisible overlay on top of other modules. Placing this over the multi-display allows for highly customized interface elements. Drag and drop of samples using table references. Oh, cool. So this... Uh, has some kind of visual change. It's like an FM. Pretty cool. Seems to respond to a sideways input the best. Let's see, main frequency slider for generator two, hard sync on and off, octave switch, okay. Fine tune slider, FM amount, that's what it is. Stereo pan and amp level, okay, so yeah, that's why I got, it gets angrier when you push this higher. And push the amp up too, I think. So uh, what I'd like to do is save a new um, a new preset. So I'm going to go here, and while in edit mode, I'm going to go ahead and hit add, and I'm going to go angry gen. <clears throat> and then we can add it to user as well. I mean, it's already there, but I'm going to hit add here. Wait. What we want to do is we want to say, how do we add a new bank? Forgot how we did that here. Yeah, we don't want a new bank here. I mean, maybe in the user folder, but it's fine. I mean, we've added a new preset here. There's only 12 presets saved here. I got a ton that I can set here. We can always create new banks in the embedded folder as well. So that's not a big deal at all. And I'm actually just going to save that. And that will go ahead and save it. Um, and let's go ahead and hit store on this uh, preset. 
This is this chooses uh, different waveforms uh, for the LFOs, and where can how can we route those? So I guess that's the modulation matrix is that can be routed. So let's learn how the modulation matrix works. Uh, LFOs and sample and hold are three wavetable LFOs can be sent via the modulation matrix. Each slider correspond at rate amp wave. Every LFO can be synced to the main clock or eventual host. And modulation matrix here is a smiley face. Uh, is useful to achieve rich modulations in your sound. There are 234 points of modulation. Modulation levels can be adjusted with attenuators. Each matrix destination has its attenuator slider modulations and input left are EG1, 2. Modulation, modulators in input are on the left are these, EG1, 2. Destination as output on top are. Okay, so the input or the modulation source, whatever you choose to select here, is the input, in other words, what you're choosing, you know, and then the destination, depending on, you know, after you've chosen what modulation type you're going to choose, where you're going to send it is therefore chosen via this uh, matrix at the top. Uh, so you get to choose via a click of a button where you want to send it, it looks like. Uh, so that's awesome. Let's send something to the reverb mix, I wonder. How about LFO uh, 1? how the modulation matrix works. Arpeggiator, oh, here we go. Arpeggiator mode lets you play an arpeggiated note, sync to reactor and host mode. Let's see where this at, where is this at? There, it's at the bottom.
find out more about that. Um, the resonators. Multiband filter, I know what that does. Resonators. Leads, lets impulses, pulses, noises come alive thanks to its capabilities of delay tuning. The module has two main sections of macrocontrollers that let you modify common parameters and tune a mix of signal. Resonator module has a built in LFO for modulation. There are two sliders for rates. Um, so modulation rate amount, uh, the bypass button is there. got to say this thing is absolutely sick and uh kudos to uh the creator who um you know was uh you know very awesome for just sharing this out as a instrument that you can just go download for free uh as you can see the background of this thing is a nebula or a space you know something out of space and it's very befitting because this thing is just at just outrageously awesome and what else can I say? Uh, this, you know, may make its way into future uh, compositions or episodes or whatever, but it's an amazing tool to add to the arsenal. So uh, highly recommended by me. And um, what can I say? 
other than happy trails into space. Ticket to space is right here. Have a good Sunday every day. On that note, until next time.